Welcome back entrepreneurs, behavior analysts, registered behavior technicians, and anyone who's interested in behavior science. Today, we're gonna to go over two of the five scientific laws of life and leadership. It's recognized in, in organizational behavior management literature, and these two key principles are one of the most important things when you're starting a business, especially in applied behavior analysis or behavior healthcare business. The first one is going to be pinpointing. Pinpointing is more about determining the larger picture, so which is uh, somewhat different than goal setting. So pinpointing exactly your reasons and your why for creating the business because it's very difficult to survive as an entrepreneur if you don't have a really really deep passion and you don't have a way to creatively display your highest expression of yourself because it's a grind and and if you're an entrepreneur you already you know that you're putting everything at risk you're putting your money at risk sometimes you're mortgaging personal property just to be able to, to pay people. But pinpointing is critical because if you're starting a business, you don't want to go down the wrong road. So sometimes it's helpful to have a consultant or an executive coach, just like a rocket would need to be calibrated down to the millimeter before it takes off in orbit. If it isn't calibrated perfectly, just like pinpointing what's important, it's going to end up thousands of miles out of orbit and the trajectory is not where you want to land. So starting a business and pinpointing is important. One of the things to pinpoint on a broader level is, is your why. That why for why you're doing the business is so critical because you're going to, you're going to have some of the roughest days and what you're going to need to do is go back and look at your reasons. My passion that's allowed me to go for 19, 20 years is that I, I wanted to create an environment where people, work because they really want to, not because they have to. Behavioral science law number two uh, from the book, Five Scientific Laws of Life and Leadership, a, which is a Wall Street Journal bestseller, is goal setting. Now goal setting, you wanna make sure that the goals are very, very specific. And, and a good way to remember how to create the goals is just using the acronym SMART. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-based. So here's an example of uh, 19 years ago, a goal that I had when I first started the organization. And that was to increase our client base by 15% over a six month period. So we had baseline data, we shot for this, and, it, and at that time it was just me and a small crew, but we really, really focused on that goal. A second example of a goal that could be measurable is creating a training program that's practical in the field for clinicians and behavioral health care. So a training component that could be measurable would be that 90% of your employees get through the training with a score of 80% or higher within a one year period. So that, that just could be an example that of a key performance indicator that could be measured using those smart, the SMART acronym. And a third example of a concrete goal that you and your team or an entrepreneur could create would be determining your employees' happiness and satisfaction through surveys. So for example, if you got baseline on your employees' happiness and their needs, and then you were to increase by 15% on a scale of one through five their happiness, although it may be subjective, it's a very great tool to survey occasionally and even reward employees just thanking them. You don't want to make the employee satisfaction survey mandatory. You want to really encourage people to give you real, true feedback. If you can get it anonymously, that's great. So what we do is take a scale of one through five. Sometimes you can behaviorally anchor that and a five might mean extremely happy, which could be tied to their attendance at work. That's just an example of how to create a behavior anchored rating scale. To wrap up, I just wanted to go over these first two components of pinpointing and goal setting just to help you launch your business or as a leader to kind of get focused on what matters most because these two components, so these two out of the five laws and five behavior analytic principles are very important in the organizational behavior management literature. 
and the way you're going to create a, an environment where people really really buy in is by them having a sustainable career on something they really really love for a small percentage of time same thing with you as a business owner you're going to find that 90 percent of the things you do you may not like but really look forward to that 10 percent and engineer your environment in a way that your job still has that fun part. I hope to see you in Texas. We're gonna go through the rest of this at the ABA conference in 2023. And thank you for everything. If you don't mind, hit the subscribe button and maybe the like, It'll we put a lot of work into these, so thank you.